Oh my good goodness gracious. What? What's going on? It's episode 275 of really? Super Mega Cast. Are you kidding me? I'm not kidding. That's man. way too many episodes of a podcast. I know. I wish we were back on like episode 12 or something. Yeah. 275. People don't still listen to 275. That's way too many. I'm not going to keep track of that shit. We should start a new podcast. Super Mega Cast 2. Yeah, that, that'll be the live action podcast. It'll be Super Mega Cast 2 and there will be a Super Mega Cast 2 episode 2. Yeah, that's the thing, man. When I see podcast thumbnails on YouTube, I'm like, oh, 17. But then I'm like, 266. Nah, get the fuck out of here. It's not even 266. It's 275. When I see Mega 64's podcast pop up and it's like episode 7,225. That's unbelievable. Get out of here. Or Joe Rogan with episode 10,380. It's like, come on, Joe. You know, well, they're, 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 they're just soaking it up. They're being a little selfish, you know? Oh, yeah. They are. With they're, all the time that they're stealing from people like us. I know. We're on the come up. They force me to fucking listen uh, in my free time to, to him as well. And it's really frustrating. I'm going to spend all my free time listening to Joe Rogan talk about eating elk and boosting his T levels. <sighs> Sorry, I, I legitimately was yawning. And it's not because I'm fucking tired of doing this. I love doing this. It's because I am just tired. I'm a tired person. I'm, I'm tired too. We've been, we've been. I don't need, can we can't, can we just say that, well, we, okay, yeah, we, we have, we, we've been work, we've been working out. Yes, we have. How we, about that? We, we won't say that's, what, that's why, good. but we have been, like, hard, working out hard, Ryan and I. Um, Ryan, you've been going harder than me, and uh, I uh, am about to step it up a notch. I just started getting, you know, easing into it, and now I'm really gonna pump the iron. 2022, Matt and Ryan, it's gonna be a little, things gonna be a little different around here. You're going to see two fucking sexy hunks instead of a sure. scrawny, malnourished skeleton <laughs> and the, probably the fattest man on earth. We're, <laughs> we're, try, we're just trying to get better health. Yeah. Better health is fucking awesome, you know? It's we're like, trying to be better to ourselves. I mean, you're in your mid-20s. I'm in my late 20s. Well, so. when I look in the mirror, I, I 25 is the first time I've noticed that when I look in the mirror up close, I can actually see signs of aging in my face mm -hmm. um, as compared to like three, four years ago. And like, I look up close and I'm like at my skin and stuff and everything. I'm like, yeah, I can actually see myself aging and getting older into my twenties. And it's freaky, you know, just wait till you're, uh, I guess it mainly happens at the end of your thirties. There's a huge kind of, and that will hit even like you harder. Turn, like you turn ugly. If I don't stick, like everyone who's 40 and above is just an ugly motherfucker. Yeah, if you're listening to this and you're 40 and above, woo, uh, I'm sorry. That just kind of sucks. But basically, and if you don't know how jokes work, well, that was one. No, it wasn't. Not from me. Maybe <laughs> from, from Ryan. Me. But for me, I'm personally saying, no, you're an ugly fucking human if you're past 40. Sorry, mom. You ageist bastard. My mom calls me ageist a lot. Like, Why? Is ageism because even a thing? It, yes, it is. So when I There's when I, ageism in Hollywood. Oh, yeah. And that, yeah. And that aspect. When I'm when I'm making jokes about old people though, are they gonna fucking there's what? ageism on a ageism. <laughs> ageism. ageism. Uh, there's ageism on um <laughs> there's a jism. The word jizz comes from jism. Yeah. So But there's a jism. There's a jism. There's a jism. A single jism. On the Lolita Express. Exactly. Right? Why didn't they let older girls on there, too? <laughs> I know. Not fair. They didn't let, like, 50-year-old bitches on there? Well, they let Stephen fucking Hawking on there. Well, he's a 50-year-old bitch. Well, <laughs> he, he was, was. a 50-year-old bitch. Now he's Stardust. <laughs> from, he was from, always Stardust. From whence he came. Star man. Waiting in the, the sky. Stars. His name is Stephen Hawking. And last year he died. He's a star. star Did he die last man. year? I don't know. I think it was earlier. A year or two ago. Yeah. Poor guy. I'm dead. <laughs> That's my what he Stephen said. Hawking impression. That's what he said. One day the nurse heard from his room, dead. dead. Oh no! Dead. Stephen! Dead? <laughs> he he like he like died with his like tongue on the inside of his little computer in his mouth, just pushing the word dead over and over. <laughs> dead. Dead. I no! <laughs> his caretaker that abused him. <laughs> yeah. That's awful, dude. I watched, wasn't Gene Simmons abused too by not a caretaker from Kiss? 
I can't remember. No, no, I'm sorry, not jeans. <laughs> the singer from Kiss? Who dated with like a 14 year old? With the red curly hair who does yoga. Carrot does, Top. <laughs> no! The guy who does yoga and shit, who does like workouts. Richard Simmons. Richard Simmons, not Gene Simmons. Very different. <laughs> yeah, very different people. I'd love to see Richard Simmons. Uh, like opposite sides of the coin of people. I'd love to see Richard Simmons do a Kiss concert and then Gene Simmons do. <laughs> dances like Richard Simmons. <laughs> but was it did something bad happen to Richard Simmons? Yeah, he was Richard Simmons. <laughs> Come on. Is he do, dead? Don't do no, he's not dead. Don't do my man like that. Richard People just there were a bunch of conspiracy theories of like, what's going on with my man? This guy. Yes, that guy. He R dances. Richard, he does dance. Good. He was on a he was on an episode of Whose Line Is It Any Way? <laughs> that show. That show is great, dude. Whose, Whose line, line is, is it? it? Any, any, anyway. Anyway. <laughs> Richard Simmons, man. Is Richard. Oh, first search thing. Is Richard Simmons okay? Is he? He's 68 years old now and he's in good health, but he wants time for himself, Richard's spokesman, Tommy Esty added. He's helped millions of people lose millions of pounds. And for 40 years, he took care of everyone but himself. Richard's nice guy persona wasn't just a persona. You're doing good at reading that. Speaking of reading. We released the book. We released the book. Ah, 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 ah. Na, 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 boo boo. Stick your head in doo doo. Read our book and buy it too too. Ha ah, ah. ha. But yeah, y'all thought it was. Some of y'all thought it was a bit. I'm sure most of y'all probably understood. People were that like, we were "What? It's not serious. a bit." But yeah, we released it. The audio books out with Gino Samuel. Gino did an amazing oh, job my narrating God. the book. Gino Samuel. Perfect. Oh, you guys have heard us fucking rant and rave and speak nothing but the highest of praise about Gino Samuel and his Chris Chan documentary e series. Ebooks out, audio books out, soft cover, hard cover. It's all out there, y'all. It is. It is all officially out there. Typos and all. Type. Pff, God damn it. No, we we double checked so many times for typos because we didn't have like an ed, like an official editor like because we self published we funded the whole thing ourselves we got it made we your sister and some friends we decided all of like the dimensions and the paper type and and everything we like we really went hard on making this book everything we wanted and we read through it my sister helped edit and read through it she did a lot of like grammatical stuff to make the book sound better so my sister did help uh, write it to an extent with in terms of that. Uh, she actually added a couple naughty jokes in there, you know. Never, never expected my. She, she's she's a wonderful writer. She should write super mega fan fiction for a living. She could she get has paid. Been. She's been writing like sexual fan fiction about the two of us. Can she draw? She does she good with art? Just no, like, she's not good with she, art. So she didn't hear the art gene. Nope, I got that from from Dale. But she she has good childbearing hips, so that'll yeah, that'll, they're good childbearing hips for yeah. sure. Um, so maybe if she has a, a little boy, he might. And he might get the 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 <laughs> gene that goes to the men in my family about being good at art. Also, like, my grandma was about, really good like, at art. Talking about livestock. That's a, is that really like is that that was what man son? She has nice childbearing hips. Is that just a way of saying nice ass? No. Mm. Or is that just like that's yeah. good for childbearing? She she like you see a like well that's a the really reason we're attracted person. to to like naturally attracted to larger you know Bo wasted bodacious women, right? breasts and, because it's and in us the evolutionary thing where it's like. Oh, that's better for child. I want my son to have big breasts like her. <laughs> I mean, same with big breasts. It can feed more babies. Exactly. So it's like they hold more milk. No, I'm not a fucking pig. I, I, I don't I don't only date women with with large chests and big asses because I'm a pig. It's evolutionarily, you know, I'm I'm trying to be better for producing offspring. Hey. For all, all shapes and sizes. Hey. Only for men. For women, definitely stick with the curvy hips and stuff. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. But <sighs> please uh Man, if you're not if you're not working on your body for at least six hours on like during the day, I don't want to see you, bitch. Ladies, let's keep it below a hundred pounds, okay? Uh let's let's not get too crazy, all right? Let's keep it below preferably below 80. But, but for the men, you can be 20 pounds. For yourself. You know? <laughs> 20 pounds! <laughs> <laughs> That's 20 just, fucking no, I feel like it, just a head in a jar. That's just a dude with a head in a jar. Like the dude, the dude that founded 8chan. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, oh, come it's, on. <laughs> we, what? Do you, is he not 20 pounds? I don't know. I didn't, I didn't weigh him. You didn't? <laughs> How did you weigh him? Picked him up and weighed him, and yeah, 22 pounds. <laughs> yeah, but. Fucking, like, the book. Uh, there's a copy of it sitting right here. 
Maybe we should read another little snippet in case people missed the last episode with Justin where we read a little snippet. Okay. Super Mega Saves the Troops. Just a random page? Yeah. Super Mega Adventure Book number one. It's good. What if it's out of context? It doesn't make sense. Well, then they'll have to read the book to, to hear the context. This feels that's awful. That's the copy that you I glued. super glued like half the pages together for the photo shoot, so that's why you can't read from the first three chapters. <clears throat> Give us a little treat, McGee. I'll give you a treat. Trick or treat, <clears throat> read my book. Audiobook, though, is amazing. Um, and as of this podcast, the paperbacks are beginning to ship out. You should be getting them momentarily. Uh, and the hardcovers will be shipping out early January because those were still in production. And we actually only had about 3,000 hardcover copies. Uh, but the day we sold them out, we were like, you know what? Since they're still in production... It might take a little longer, but let's go ahead and just open up more hard copies and then print them based on how many people buy them so we could fulfill everyone. So read the audiobook with the physical and it you'll have a great time because you get to see the pictures and listen to the narration with the sound effects and the music we added to the audiobook. It's great. I have a little <clears throat> penis. Have, it, it's it's I do have a little penis, but I also have a little section in this book. Let's hear it. <sighs> Feeling optimistic. Matt turned his gaze to the open sea, watching the ocean fly past. After a few hours, the coastline began to appear on the horizon. There it is. France. We made it, Matt exclaimed, pointing. We sure did, bud. We sure did. The duo sped up. Ryan whistled to the tune of In the Club by 50 Cents as they stylishly crashed their boat onto a public beach, pulling off two front flips and a corkscrew spin before sticking the landing. The French just stood there, peering out of their droopy eyelids while judging, as the French tend to do. Matt and Ryan were a bit confused by their reaction. Usually people applauded their efforts, especially one so cool and awesome. Ryan, Matt said to get his friend's attention, have people stopped clapping whenever America shows up on their shores? Don't mind them, Ryan said. They're just French. Matt grinned a giddy little grin. Well, at least they're not Italians. Everybody laughed, including the French people. And he was right. Nobody on that beach was Italian, and they were all the better for it. <laughs> the boy sauntered off, arm in arm, leaving the frogs behind. Beautiful, beautiful. Yeah. I think that's one of my favorite passages in the book. <laughs> At least they're not Italians. <laughs> I was just like, leave, they just arm in arm, leaving the frogs behind. Like, it's such <laughs> like a, like an interesting rhythm of a sentence, too. And then immediately. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just. Just fucking jerking our. I'm just yeah, jerking man, you jerking off. My I'm jerking off. myself off. I'm jerking you off too, man. This is a mutual I love masturbation. Me, I, exactly. I mean, I'm I'm fucking proud of this thing. I'm so proud of this, man. I'm proud of us that we did this. I, and, you know what? I want to I want to brag for a second. I am proud of you and I for doing this. This is something we've always wanted to do. I didn't ever think we'd actually do it because it's one of those big projects where it's like we always talk about it and like, oh, they're never gonna actually do that. And we fucking did it, and it turned out. Better than we ever expected. The quality of it is incredibly, insanely high. I think it was explained really well by a fan I saw. They said it was like one of the most legendary shit posts, and like that's all. Yeah, I have. that's, that's a great really way to what I wanted it, it yeah. to be. Is like this because it because it takes a lot. Some shit posts take a lot of work. Have you seen some of those some some of those Stephen Crowder TikToks? I was about to say when Ben Shapiro's debating. <laughs> yeah, those are great. But um. Well, I, we're proud I, I want to. I want to. We want to write more. We want this to be a trilogy. We really yes. do. We have. We already have a lot of the story for the second uh, and a general book. concept for the third one as well. Not. We don't have the ending planned for the second one yet, but we have basically just kind of like general what outline. we want to. What we want to happen in it. There's a big twist halfway through. You oh, guys are gonna yeah. love it. And if you read the epilogue of Super Mega Saves the Troops, you will see exactly where the next book is going. Ex we, we, it's not just a funny little gag. No, it's it sets it up for the next one. So can you guess where where we go in the next book, ladies and gentlemen? We're going somewhere special. Yeah, we're. I don't want to give it away. I don't want to give it away. But if you read the book, you can uh, see. Go grab the ebook. It's four ninety nine on Amazon, and you can get it on your or Kindle. free. If you with an audible, no audible. Oh, with audible, yeah. You get your first book free. Yeah, with audible, you sign up to get your first book free. Uh, they're actually we're not sponsoring sponsored us. They, right in, now. In a couple episodes. In a couple episodes, are, but, but not right now. But it's only because this benefits us. With our business and but our it, book. Yeah, and if you sign up, though, for Audible, uh, you can do it through, like, Amazon Prime, I think. You get uh, your first audiobook free, and I think you get, like, a credit every month, too. So if you have your credits for Audible, go get our book. It's incredible. Gino Samuel did an incredible job. People are raving about how good he did, and I couldn't agree more. Um, I love him. 
and he's he's fantastic, man. He is fantastic. And like here, real quick, I can I can find some reviews of the uh, audiobook on on Audible. Um, here's what some people are saying about the audiobook. Or actually, no, sorry. Here's what some people are saying about the book in general. I'm going to Amazon.com. I'm going to Super Mega Saves the Troops, which because of you guys is number one uh, in dark comedy. One, number one new release in dark humor. Wow, thank you guys. Yeah, audiobook is zero dollars with a membership trial. Um, so so listen to this. Oh, and if you buy the uh, Kindle version on Amazon, it says you can add the ebook uh, for just seven dollars and forty seven cents. Um, we were gonna make the ebook three dollars and ninety nine cents. I mean the audiobook, and then uh, turns out that Amazon does not let you price your own books; they decide for you. It's based on length, right? So it, I don't know Apparently. how much it is, like ten bucks. But here we go. We have seventy three re- reviews on Amazon, four point nine out of five stars. And um, let's see. Let me read a few reviews from some of you guys real quick to give everyone else a little, little picture. Angela, uh, verified purchase, said perfect read for the little American in your life. I've never felt as American as I did while reading this book. It has a special place right next to my grandfather's purple heart on my mantle. Um, Sam said, the most red-blooded American a book can get. Sick and tired of being called a Nancy boy by my stepfather, I decided to take initiative for once in my life and picked up this book. As soon as I opened it on my Fire 7 tablet, 2019, the usually weak screen's brightness flared to cosmically high levels of light, instantly blinding everyone in the tri-state area and knocking me out cold. As I awoke, something felt different. I thought the light had blinded me, but I could still see. By God, I could see. Nothing escaped my eyes. I could make out every hair on President Joseph R. Biden from two states away. Hell, my eyesight was so good it went around the earth. I could even see my own behind if I squinted hard enough. Astounded yet amazed, I made my way to my stepfather's office to rub in the new alpha feature I had acquired. Slamming the door open with enough force to tear it from its hinges, I found him on the ground, sobbing into his pathetic little baby hands. I can't see. Oh, God, that light. I can't see, he cried out, his nails beginning to draw blood from his sorry excuse for a face. My superior brain immediately grasped the situation. You go blind, James? Could your weak little eyes not even handle a little flash? He gasped, realizing I had entered the room. Sam! Oh, thank God. Please, I can't see. Call an ambulance, he sobbed, blood pooling on the floor around his head. I laughed, giving him a loogie. Sorry, old man. Looks like I'm in charge now, I exclaimed, leaving as quickly as Dale Earnhardt drove, winning his first race in the NASCAR circuit at the Southeastern 500 in 1979. So, yeah, I'd recommend this book. (laughs) That was beautiful. And then the next one I see is I came. I came so hard. Oh, my God. It was so good and incredible. I wish I had more spunk, but alas, they took it all. Hats off. Let me see if I can find a real review of the book. Uh, I think those are going to be the reviews. Um. For our, I don't think anyone's going to sit down and write like a book report. Somewhere. Here's a real review, but it's long. Okay. Does it, is it real? For sure. I'll, I'll skip around. For a short-term project that was done in a matter of months, Matt and Ryan crushed it. I read it in one day and can't wait to receive my paperback and hardback copies. Also, the illustrators deserve a shout-out as well. The pulpy comic-style illustrations went perfectly with the story, and the artist killed it. That is true. Shout-out to all the fucking artists that worked on this book. Worked their little buns off. In fact, big shout-out to everyone. Um, if you're one of the artists that worked on the book and, um, you're listening to this, uh, DM me on Twitter because I would like to send Ryan and I would like to send a specialized copy to each one of you. So we already ordered the books. Yeah, we have the books. We, they're on the way right now. We're just going to get them all signed and and sent out, but shout out to these artists. First of all, the cover art was by our good friend, Shoe Plock, uh, who incredible. She did the cover art for DTF. Um, she did a really cool off candy poster. And then of course, big special thanks to Don, who y'all know because mm-hmm. he does the channel no, artist. Yes, Don. yeah. I'm I'm thanking Don. Okay. Just okay, be, I'm just thanking because, Don too. Just because then. y'all are in a little spat just doesn't don't mean bring it up. whatever. Okay. Well, continue. It's, you know how it gets with girls. Um illustrations were by listen to this. There's uh at Jordan Decay did incredible job. Yurik Salad Bar, very, very cool little guy. Well, now little he's, guy. He's but very little. He's probably Three nine, uh, Don. No, he's like four three. Kib, Sugar Pine Kib, uh, Dubner Art, Jimmy Carroll, Nif Yang, uh, Inkusan, Kakaiba Studio, Brain Bugs, Nice Up Dog, who was on the podcast a couple episodes yep, ago. With Lex, Don. Mm-hmm. Great Horn, 
Gloomy Gonza, Berkeley Polson, and The Dark 101, a.k.a. Cameron Sewell. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, Layton is, late, is, late, late is, is... He doesn't want the artist oh. to get credit. Also, yeah. and Yo Mama. Oh, and um, uh, is this about how... Can I make this about me now? Yeah, yeah. you can make it about you here. Okay, okay. Who's here? Who's here? Yeah, what did you guys order? I can bring it. Oh, sorry, that's a weird way to say ad reads. Yeah. Overdraft fees have gotten way out of hand. In 2019, traditional banks took $11 billion in overdraft fees. Chime does things a little differently. Chime is an award-winning app and debit card that has saved its members more than $10 billion in overdraft fees with SpotMe fee-free overdraft. Eligible members can overdraft up to $200 on debit card purchases and cash withdrawals with absolutely no fees. Right now, you deserve to have financial peace of mind Join the millions of Americans already loving Chime. Signing up only takes two minutes and doesn't affect your credit score. Get started today at Chime.com slash Supermega. That's Chime.com slash Supermega. You know, ever since I started using Chime, I've, I've been having a lot of fun and my money is b better. I, I have better money uh, things. No, but seriously, it's so fun. Again, get started today at Chime.com slash super. That's Chime.com slash super. Bank services provided by and debit card issued by the Bancorp Bank or Stride Bank, NA members, FDIC. Spot me eligibility requirements apply. Overdraft only applies to debit card purchases and cash withdrawals. Limits start at $20 and may be increased up to $200 by Chime. Chime member overdraft fee savings based on eligible members use about me v33 dollars average overdraft fee overdraft fee data based on bank rate checking account survey and crl june 2020 overdraft fees report lebron james lebron james lebron james yeah that's right guys do you want to know what makes lebron james king james sleep that's right it ain't the ball throwing skills, it's sleep. It's his superpower. And Calm, the number one app for sleep and meditation, has teamed up with LeBron James to help you activate the power of sleep. LeBron and Calm know that your mind is like any other muscle in your body, but you don't have to be a world champion like LeBron James to learn how to train it. Calm just can keep you calm and train your brain so you sleep better, reduce your stress, and perform at your best, just like LeBron James. For LeBron James, sleep is a critical part of his... That's really annoying. I'm sorry, guys. For LeBron, sleep is a critical part of his mental fitness routine. As he says, quote, Getting good sleep and finding time to rest is one of the most valuable things I can do for my body and mind. From the sound of rain falling on leaves to bedtime sleep stories, Calm puts me to sleep within minutes, which means I wake up ready for any challenge like basketball, unquote. So you can head to calm.com slash super and get a limited time offer of 40% off a Calm premium subscription. That's almost 50% off. I like Calm a lot. Uh, it's I've been getting a lot better sleep lately uh, since I put Calm on and I listen to uh, the rain falling down. It sounds like I'm sleeping in a tent while camping and rain's falling around me. Very peaceful, very relaxing. I don't wake up at all. And I wake up feeling just like LeBron James. Again, for a limited time, our listeners can join LeBron and using Calm and get a 40% discount on a Calm premium subscription at calm.com slash super. That's C-A-L-M dot com slash super. Unlock content to help you focus, ease stress, and sleep better. Get started at calm.com slash super. Woohoo! That was a wonderful ad break. That was so good, actually. I actually I mean, I think. had multiple prostate orgasms during that ad break. Oh, let me, uh, let me take off the J's. Oh, take the J's off, dude. <sighs> Those the Chris Ooh. Kringles? Ah, yeah. Ooh. Ah. Nice. Ooh. Now I'm feeling nice and comfortable. Yeah, let those my, little piggies breathe. My piggies can fucking... Ah, they, oh, the fresh air. Mm. The fresh air. Wiggle those little things for me. Ooh. Oh, he's wiggling them, John. See this? I'm you know what you're doing. Toes. See this? Ooh. Ah. Oh, you know? man. All right, well, <laughs> yeah, I got something to talk about. Do you like my socks? I love your socks. They got fish on them. Yep. Yep. Are they DTF? I think so. Are they like, Chris? is it Christmasy? But there's also a bear on <gasps> Oh, it's a bear catching <laughs> salmon. Hell yeah, it is. That's cute. I love those. Just, Where'd you get them? Just went to that sock store finally, just got a bunch of interesting socks. Like the one that was like, the one that is famous for being like on City Walk. Not famous, but it's on City Walk. Yeah, they're I know what you're like, talking about. They're also in like other malls and stuff too. I'm glad, man. I'm glad you got yourself. I love, I love a good pair of socks. I recently have been boring and I've just been walk, 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 rocking the black socks. Actually, Ryan, you'll be, you'll like this. Look at what brand I'm wearing. And one, And dude. one. Walmart. I'm so proud of you. Thank you. I got these at Walmart. This is amazing. This is a big step for me. I'm like, 
I'm like a proud uncle. I'm like a proud boy? Mm. You're a proud boy? I mean, my views do align with them. I just don't like their haircuts. <laughs> Yeah, it's just a little bit too gay. <laughs> they look a little too homosexual for me. Um, I want to talk about something though. Uh, I want to talk about last night. Why? Just um, just because yeah, I just wanted to. I want to talk about it. Okay. Last night was the very first time I ever went on stage and did music, and I did it with Frank Javsi DJing. Hi, I'm Chris singing along, doing his tracks. And Jason but Justin doing his tracks too. Uh, very last minute, Chris and Frank were doing a little show in Santa Ana, and it was like a vaporwave show. And they were practicing at my apartment. Uh, Frank was DJing on his little thingy, playing some songs, and Chris was jumping around in my studio as if he was on stage, like a fucking freak. Like, oh, my grandma's in a casket now. Uh, uh, uh. That's is one of his songs, yeah. Okay. That's, that's actually the first words on his album, uh, which is a great album. But then Frank started playing one of my songs. And then I was like, okay, I'll pretend to perform too. And I did it like some, like a couple of goofballs. And then I was like, when's this show? They're like, tomorrow night. And I was like, can I come? And they were like, sure. And I was like, could I do a song? And they were like, sure. Because it seemed like a pretty relaxed, because I, I was having... I was having sex. No, no, I was having dinner. Dinner with with very important clients who are from Fox News. I know. Mm -hmm. Hey, I respect that. And the Daily Report, Daily Wire, and, and sorry, sorry, yeah, the Daily Wire, and uh, oh, some some Crowder guy. I haven't reached out to him, but Did you have a good dinner though. Yeah. Ryan oh couldn't unfortunately God. make it to our show because it was so last minute announcement. I, I only announced that I was being a part of it like less than 24 hours before. And I didn't know it, it existed before, like uh, literally the night before. And Ryan had already made had dinner plans, plans with yep. some very important clientele. Yeah. So, and, and I'm glad you did that actually because we that's good for us with business. Yeah. All I'm saying is, Tucker. You know, I don't want mm -hmm. okay, okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. Tucker C. You had yeah. dinner with a different Tucker brother. Let's yeah. just say that. <laughs> you talked everything. NFTs, women, money, politics. A lot of money talk. Yeah. A lot of women, yeah. of course. Yeah. But we're gonna be going from making two billion dollars each every year, like we are currently, to making ten billion dollars each every year. Fuck. Yep. Oh my god, dude. Thank you. And it's all from the Patreon. <laughs> Yeah, and I don't think I want to post anything there. <laughs> you know? Sorry. But, yeah, I, I, it was so much fun. I'd never done music live. I've done, you know, shows with Ryan. I've done the, the super mega live podcast comedy goofy junk drawing shit, but I'd never done... Okay, dude. Hey, buddy, that's what I do. I said it was goofy. Goofy's good. Is it? Yeah. Are you saying what we did wasn't goofy? It, 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 it sounds like when people walk out of a movie and they ask, how do you like it? And they go... It was, oh, it was fun. It was fun. Goofy is, yeah, I, Goofy can be a positive or a negative. If you say a movie was goofy, then it's like, ugh. But, you know, kind of goofy. Our comedy is goofy. That's, yeah. see, that that works. When something is funny and you describe it as goofy, I think it works. Goofy. Goofy's a good thing to insult. You f goofy, you fucking goofball. You're forgetting who had a solo show, Ryan McGoggles. Guess what? No one fucking showed up. So, I'm sorry. I'm glad man. that you had fun at your fucking concert. Well, dude, I, I hope you and Justin and Frank and Chris had a really fucking great time, buddy. I did. I had a blast. Yeah. Ryan McGoggles, I'm sure, would have been a fun show, too, if anyone Crickets. came. Crickets. Crickets, my man. Do you still do it? What? Do you still do the show? No. <laughs> I wonder if people do that. Like, if no one shows up, they're like, all right, let's still do the show. I guess it's more practice. Mm hmm. But yeah, I did all my stuff off of Ouch. Not everything from Ouch, but a couple you did songs. Some new stuff? And then I did like four. I tuned in for like about half an hour. I was like on the ride home. Thanks, I dude. Like, I was so I had you in front of my face while one one wheel one hand on the wheel, one hand on my phone, right putting right in front of my face using 
sound to travel on the highway. Because you also didn't, well, like, you get a little car sick if you could see out of your peripheral the road going by, so you yeah. had to do it, so your whole vision was the phone. And I really, I really appreciate that, for real. It's very, it, it meant, when I saw that you texted me and said that you had seen some of it, 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 it made my heart warm. It really did mean a lot to me. I'm serious. I was like, oh my god, Ryan saw it. And... We, uh, yeah, I, d I did a couple new songs that aren't out yet, and the crowd was wild. They had such a good energy. I'm sure some people listening right now were there. Maybe some people I talked to after the show. Uh, you guys were fucking awesome. I couldn't have imagined a better first show ever. And Justin was even more last minute with it. Like, two hours before the show, I was kind of like, hey, do you want to, like, do one song or something? And he was like, ah, I don't know, I don't know. And then finally he agreed. He's like, yeah, you know, I'll do it. And he said it wasn't even nervous. And he got on stage. He had never been on stage before, and he was up there being like, Los Angeles makes the fucking noise! And he was fucking, <laughs> dude, was, his I stage was presence was unbelievable. And he did all of his fucking, he did all his tracks with Chris, like Depression Nap. They um, they did a new uh, incredibly hard rap song about Crocs that the crowd was going crazy. There was a mosh pit during that one. They opened up the pit and people fucking punching each other. It it's was wild. fucking Matt Watson! Thanks, Justin. I fucking love you! Thanks, Justin. Hey, put your hands up! Justin, you don't have to scream when it's a microphone. You can just speak normally. Ah! It was, uh, he was incredible. Everyone was. Chris fucking... Chris. Uh, hi, I'm Chris. Uh, Bo Twizzle on Twitter. Uh, has an incredible stage presence. Frank shit his pants, but luckily he was wearing his diaper. Uh, <laughs> Uh, no, it was so much fun, though. And I want to thank everyone who came. Because um, I came, for sure. And I just fucking, I had a blast. And I didn't realize how much of a workout doing music on stage is. I was, I was the only one drenched in sweat. See, I was fucking, I looked like the Crypt Keeper because I was You gotta so get your fucking endurance game up. So I'm you working get, on. But even with my endurance, more, I don't know why I was sweating so much. eat more. Eat more. I need to just Get eat. more energy. Just shove it down my throat. Food is energy. <sighs> Food is friend. Did I just drink gasoline? That's energy. Food, good. <laughs> But it was so much fun, and everyone seemed to uh, vibe with the new stuff that's not out yet, and it really encouraged me to release it, and Justin fucking s killed his lines. Amazing. There it was just fun. We just threw it back and forth. Chris would do a song, I'd do a there song. Wasn't Frank he told a song. an audience member to shut the fuck up? He did, yeah. Justin. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He had got a little, there was one part of the show, and audience member was like, I love you, Justin, and he just lost it. I don't know. He'd just been having a bad day, maybe. And he fucking... I think it was because he was interrupting, like, I think a part of the song that Justin really... Well, enjoyed. it wasn't during the song. It was in between songs. It was kind of oh, quiet. And really? Everyone was cheering. He goes, I love you, Justin. Justin said, what the fuck? Dude, shut the fuck up, you fucking cunt. And he pulls... He, the guy's in the front. Justin fucking slapped him in the ear. Jesus. Like, really hard in the ear, which is not a fun place to be slapped. See, it sounded a lot less serious when Leighton told me about it. No, but, you know, Leighton tells things. Leighton always tells stories. Completely differently from. Well, he definitely tells a lot of stories. He tells a lot of stories, man. Fucking filling my ears with those stories yep. every day. Um, it was. It was. It was it's not even fun. bedtime. Nope. I'm like Leighton. Save it for fucking bedtime, brother. How many stories you got, brother? He has more stories than anyone I've ever met. They're you know, stories are perfect too. for bedtime. Yeah. They Have you ever thought right of to sleep? Like, do you think that like that's what stories were? It's just a way to like kind of. I guess it soothes some people, but like, is it also like a way to bore you? Yeah. Like a droning white noise. Mm -hmm. And that's why it's great because Leighton stories put me right to sleep when I hear them. Ah, uh, but again, not bedtime. Not bedtime. So guys. not good. Not good for uh, productivity. Mm -hmm. But I had a great time jumping around. I got really sweaty, screaming into the mic. I could not hear myself or what anyone else was saying. I could hear you. Well, yeah. And see, here's what the thing. When I was singing, I couldn't hear myself. And when I can't hear myself, it's a little hard for me to stay on key because I can't really. Also, because Chris would sing my songs with me, but he would harmonize. So he would sing them in a completely different like pitch that would be different from my thing. And that would kind of throw me off. Are you I throwing shade at Chris? No, he did an incredible job because being able to harmonize with a song like on the spot is is takes some talent. Some so why couldn't talent. you do it? Why couldn't you harmonize with your own song? Because I had to sing the way it regularly goes. <laughs> why? You know, like. I'd be like, come over whenever you want to. And he'd be like, it could have come been over whenever you want to. Like he'd mix it up and I'd hear that. But because the speakers are facing out, people were having fun regardless. I know, but dude, I, this is just shit that you're thinking. I dude. couldn't hear myself. So I'm out of saying Every, well, everyone there was jumping up, having a fucking yeah, they fucking banger jumped. all the time. Y'all were great. You guys were great. And I cannot wait to do more shows. I'd love to do a tour sometime next year. If I, once I have more music, but love you all. Thank you for coming. I can't wait to do more.
Now, bye. How, how was the Ryan McGoggle show? Huh? How was the Ryan I told you, no one fucking came. I know, but how, how was it besides that? I didn't perform. So I just sat there, had a few drinks, drove home, blitzed. Of course. I mean, he has a bad knife. And I'm you. angry. I'm swerving all over the highway. Road rage. Yeah. Mixed throwing with Coke alcohol. cans at passerbys. Hey, what else are you going to do, man? No one shows up to your show. Also, uh, shout out to- If I had a wife. Oh, thank God you don't. That would have been a bad night for her. Good night for you, though, to get some she, anger out. She would have gotten a fucking earful. She, she, and she, I, you know, she- I, My face would have been red. She would get upset because, you know, she'd get upset because obviously, the, you know, the violence. But it's like, you know what? She just needs to understand that you just have to vent and let out some anger sometimes. And she's supposed to be there for it. So, yes, you know. Uh, but uh, also shout out to apparently there were like 20, 30 people that came to get tickets at the door and were turned away because it was a capacity. So uh, if any of you guys drove from like L.A. or San Diego to Santa Ana for that and couldn't get in, apologies. You only missed a very historical moment. Uh, That's weird. Matt Matt texted me that, you know, he said some people couldn't make it in and then cry laughing emoji last night. Come on, dude. No. We actually were only at half capacity. I just told the promoters, like, let don't don't let them in. <laughs> don't let them in. You did it with that grin on your face, I said, too. <laughs> I said, if anyone's <laughs> if anyone's wearing super mega merch, turn them away. The fuck, <laughs> Except if they're hot babes. Be like, oh, capacity just dropped a little bit. One guy went outside to go pee. So now, uh, you know, we can, we can let some hot babes in. Every babe at that show is fucking smoking fine. I'll tell you what. Yeah. It's fucking honeys there. Damn. Just kidding. I, the show was all ages, so I can't confidently say every babe was smoking there. Some kid interviewed me. He asked me before the well, show. A, ki a kid can't be a babe. So thus, a babe, you're only talking about the babes. Right, right. Which babe means woman over 18. No, it means woman over 35. Yep. And there were a lot of them there. Well, this, this kid uh, interviewed me for like his record label he has with his friends or something. He's like, hey, can we do an interview after the show? I was like, sure. So after the show, he got out his little iPhone 4 and, and has friend film and he interviewed me and asked me a bunch of meme questions. Uh, they say, my name Jeff, mm -hmm. correct? Yeah, uh, qu literally questions exactly like that. And, uh, really? Yeah, and there was like 20 people watching. So Crazy Frog's penis, any comment? He asked me... um. My favorite Dale moment. Then he got the crowd to chant, fuck you, Dale. And today's my father's birthday, so. Did you wish him a happy birthday? Not yet. Why not? What do you mean not yet? It's fucking 10. He stays up late. How late? Uh, <laughs> about this time. Yeah. <laughs> he you didn't call me this year for my birthday. Did he not? I don't, maybe he probably did. I don't know. He, he doesn't, he's not very good at remembering birthdays. Did you and text I'm him at least happy birthday? <clears throat> I, mean, I can call him is right now. No? I can call him right now. But uh, yeah, he's he gonna hate me. that this is on the. Po he's it's for the he podcast. Know. He interviewed me, asked me a bunch <laughs> of meme know. questions. He asked me a couple <laughs> serious questions, but then would cut me off with another meme question. Uh, but he, overall, it was fun. Um, but then uh, he asked if I could sign his penis, and I was like, "You're 18." He's like, "No, I'm 16." And when I found out he was actually 16, so I got interviewed by a 16 year old uh, and and memed around. Um, and I did not sign his penis. Good. Because he's... Uh, he was trying to set you up. He was. And he was on camera, too. What's this guy's deal? Um, he's probably just going to grow up to be a pedophile. You know? And a racist. Yeah. I just got that vibe from him. He's going to listen to this and be like, what the fuck? Oh, I my was, God. I was super chill. Yeah. He was so nice to me in person. He, he, was, he was nice. He was nice. He was... He, was, he, was a, he looked like a little surfer boy. That had some, a little. He had a nice suit boy? on. Was he, he little? No, he was he was average height, but his hair was kind of like the you know the dude in the video that's like the key to a perfect bowl cut. Just don't sweat it. <laughs> kind of like that. Nah, -uh. not as bowl cutish. It was more like <laughs> formed out. But he had I, a bowl cut. He had a surfer bowl. It kind of was a bowl cut. It was blonde. Yeah. Was he big and muscular? I forgot the name of of whatever their little record was. He label wearing was a tank though. top and a swimsuit. No, he was wearing a fucking suit with a shirt tucked in. A suit. It was a pretty good drip. I did tell him before the show. I was like, I like your drip. Was it like an oversized suit or was it like a very well fitting suit? It was a good. It was a nice fitting suit. It wasn't like a full suit. It was like a casual, like a suit jacket with like some trousers tucked so like in. Like you go to a dinner party. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, let me. Can I call my dad? Yeah. Wish him a happy birthday.
but he can't know that he's on the podcast. Okay. Because he'd be fucking furious. He'd be pissed. Gotta let him know that you. But I love him. I'm thinking about him. Hey, Matt. I was sleeping. Oh, I hate you. Oh, I'm sleeping, Matthew. Come on, Dad. But if he doesn't pick up, I could say, I did call you. Yeah, exactly. So th this isn't out. Hi, you big Who's that? Oh, my God. I called Danny. <laughs> His name is next to my dad's name in my phone, Wait, and I guess I clicked Danny. Wait, Danny, Danny? Yeah. Danny! Whose voice was that? Uh, I'm guessing someone else to do his voicemail, so if someone calls it, they won't know it's him. Oh, interesting. So I could probably bleep out the the first six numbers of his <laughs> phone number. Oh my god. Well, I wish that he had picked up, because we're like, Hello? Dad? <laughs> hey, Matt. <laughs> I can be your daddy. <laughs> Uh, okay, sorry, they're next to each other on my phone, I guess my big sausage fingers hit that. That would have been fucking gold if he picked up. Here, I'm calling dad. Why would Danny ever pick up? He didn't, see, he doesn't like me, he didn't pick up. You motherfucker! <laughs> it's not a wig! Sorry, it's a, there's another term for it that's better. It's a hair piece. <laughs> It's a long toupee. <laughs> Dan's calling me back. Dan, Dan, uh, hey Dan. Hello, Matt Watson. What's up, dude? How are you, bud? I'm doing fantastic, Danny. I actually called you by accident because, see, it's my dad's like 63rd uh, birthday, and dad is right next to Danny in my phone. So I clicked <laughs> Danny instead of dad. So if you had picked up, I would have been very be like, dad? So <laughs> I didn't want you to find out this way. <sighs> well, now I know, and, uh, I'm actually very happy about that, but uh, yeah, I hope you're doing great, Dan. I'm uh, actually I'm in the middle of doing something, with, uh, recording something with Ryan, so I got to get running. But uh, you know what? I happy birthday anyway. Just for whenever whenever your birthday is, this will count. Like, so if I forget to tell you on your birthday, happy birthday, you can remember that I got it out of the way already. I really appreciate that, man. Thank you so much. Of course, man. Hope you're doing well. I'll uh, talk to you soon. All right. Have a good night. You Thanks too. Ryan for me. Hi, Ryan. Yeah. Hi. <laughs> All right. Well. Hey! <laughs> Sorry, I was just powdering my wig. <laughs> Come on! I'm just kidding, Danny. It's not a wig. It's, it's a hairpiece. Hair yeah. <laughs> Woo! Woo! <laughs> just imagine. Feel a little, feel a little goofy, brother? Feel, I'm feeling like I'm on some goofballs right now. Me too. Woo! I'm on, the, I'm on the goofballs! That's Dude. what we should call ourselves. Hey, you finally had the apple pan. I did! The pin pineapple apple pan. And here is review after these. Did, did, I, did we already do a second ad read? Nope. Let's do it. Okay. After these ads. The holiday season is upon us. And with it comes the yearly question of what do I wear to non-ugly sweater parties? And how do I maximize my time savoring holiday moments and minimize my time shopping for gifts? Fear not, weary holiday wanderer. Mac Weldon has all the answers. Whether it's an office party, a party with family and friends, or just a holiday party of your own, of you on your couch by yourself and a game on the TV, Mac Weldon has all the essentials to keep you stylish and comfortable throughout this season. And their innovative daily wear system has taken the hard work out of outfit planning with pieces designed to work together for any occasion, saving you time and sparing you any holiday stress. What people notice most when you're throwing on an outfit is, is do the pieces go together? Mack Weldon stuff is designed to go together so you don't even have to think about it. Listen to this. We're talking top-notch tops, best-selling bottoms, and underwear and accessories that will please even the scroogiest guys on your list. With Mack Weldon, your holiday heavy lifting will be complete within minutes. I got myself one of the Mack Weldon Ace sweatshirts uh, slash sweatpants uh, combo, and I'll throw it on when I get home, and oh my god, it is so comfy. I'll, I'll invite my neighbors over just to come stare at my outfit, and they go, dang, Matthew, that is nice. You guys know me, I'm also not a big fan of the cold. Feeling like a walking popsicle just doesn't suit me. But with Mack Weldon's warm knit collection that features shirts, vests, pajama pants, and more, my chilly winter days are behind me. Using innovative technology that uses your own body heat to keep you at the perfect temperature, these products from Mack Weldon have had me saying something I never thought I would. I'm ready for the cold. And there's things like gift sets. What a concept. You can get them for your friends and family and they will go, wow, that is, that is a beautiful gift set of clothes. And this holiday season, every guy deserves to wear unforgettable clothes that he loves for the moments with loved ones that he'll never forget. 
That's why Mack Weldon is always on my holiday list for giving and getting. For 20% off your first order, visit MacWeldon.com slash super and enter promo code super. That's MacWeldon, W-E-L-D-O-N dot com slash super. Promo code super for 20% off. Mac Weldon, get it right this holiday season. If you've ever dreamed of having the chance to win awesome prizes like a Tesla, karaoke with Charlize Theron, go to space with Virgin Galactic, then you have to check out Omaze, the new way to give back to charity and have fun doing it. Here's how Omaze works. You enter for a chance to win something amazing, and at the same time, you can donate to support great causes. It's a fun and easy way for nonprofits to raise money and for you to win big prizes, like a customized Jeep Wrangler. Once you've selected your prize, choose a donation amount from $10 to $150. The more you donate, the more entries you'll get. Through your donations, Omaze has raised more than $150 million to support over 350 nonprofits around the world. Enter today for a chance to win the custom Jeep Wrangler or other life-changing prizes and experiences at omaze.com slash supermega. I use Omaze. You know, it's, it's, it is a fun way to, to, to give back and potentially win your, you win your own Jeep Wrangler. Plus, you can receive 20 extra entries when you enter code SUPER20. Remember, go to amaze.com slash super, code SUPER20. That's amaze, O-M-A-Z-E dot com slash super. Jay on my mind. And by now, you've probably seen about a thousand gift guides for the holiday season. Gifts for moms, gifts for guys, gifts for your wife's boyfriend. You could study all those gift guides and shop at 10 different places. Uh, or you could start shopping uh, at Raycon and get a gift everyone will use. Raycon wireless earbuds. I got a pair of Raycon wireless earbuds and I, I pop those suckers in. And you know what? I am listening to Super Mega Cast on repeat every day. You get the full quality, the bass of our voices, the treble. You get the highs of, of my nasally voice. It's beautiful. And the music's good, too. But mainly, I like listening to Super Megacast with them. And they give you amazing audio quality, like I just said, wherever you go. Whether you use them to pump up, wind down, to work, or work out. They'd be useful for anyone on your list. Even better for you. They start at half the price of other premium audio brands. And with their latest model, you get three new sound profiles to make sure that everything you're listening to sounds its best with just the right amount of bass. There's pure mode for podcasts, instrumentals, balanced mode for podcast rock and heavy metal and then bass mode when you want to get when you want to get freaky and go sicko mode with some hip-hop edm reggae etc raycons are available in five stylish colors so you can pick a perfect one to fit you and everyone else on your list and with free shipping and returns gifting is easier than ever the holidays are coming up faster than you think now is the time to knock out that gift list and avoid the last minute shipping scramble especially because right now our listeners get 15 percent off site-wide with code holiday at buyraycon.com slash super mega go to buyraycon b-u-y raycon.com slash super mega and use code holiday 15 percent off your entire order buyraycon.com slash super mega wow I'm blown away every time. Yeah. The like, ads just, they are something else, man. They're so great. It's something that just, when I hear it, it brightens my the music day. music is so fitting. It is. It's always so fitting. And it's not the same five tracks that no. I use no, in no, every no, single no, no, ad no, read. No, no. And, it's, and, they're, and it's not the same unfitting five tracks because they were the first tracks I found on YouTube to audio. To just be like passable. Yeah. But, um, um, you, we went to the Apple Pan. Mm -hmm. And Matt finally had it, and so I want to. You ate, you you got both of the burgers. I got both burgers. There's the hickory burger and the steak burger. That's all they got. I want to hear your review. I love get it. any pie. I uh, no because they have apple, cherry, boysenberry, chocolate, and pecan. And pecan pie is so good. It is really good, but I had already set myself up to be in the mood for apple pie or cherry or boysenberry, like some fruit pie, and uh, they were all out of it. And like when you really want like fruit pie, and you think of pecan pie, it just doesn't. You know, yeah. doesn't hit the same. So, but I had both burgers. Your little boy ate ate it all. Um, you were very proud of me. I I ate the whole thing. Do you have a which one is better and for what reason? <sighs> it it was hard. It was fucking delicious. Yeah. Uh, the bun was was interesting because for me the biggest part of a burger is usually the bun. Mm -hmm. It's it's what I I like a really soft kind of sticky bun. And these weren't like that. These were uh, almost like a little toasted. Right? Like, it's got a little bit of a crunch to it almost. Yeah. Like, the bread. And I liked it a lot. Uh, I don't know which one I liked more. The Hickory Burger had a really good sauce. Is the steak burger the one with, like, the relish? 
Mm -hmm. Yeah, that one had like an apple relish on it and it was really good. I really like the steak burger a lot. That might have been my favorite. If I had to go right now and get one, I'd get the steak burger. I think I always have to get two. It's like, Jack Black's favorite restaurant. Oh, deservedly so. It's, it's delicious. delicious. I could eat three of those burgers. I could eat four. <gasps> oh, no. Remember when I ordered Starbucks earlier on the podcast? It's been sitting outside. Oh, shit. Go get it. Go get it. Run, Matt. Run. I'm running. Matt is currently not running. He lied to everyone. He is walking casually to the front door. Just opened it, and we're not even that far from the uh, front door, actually, where we record the podcast is just a few steps away, so it wasn't even at a brisk pace that he walked. I just want you to know that Matt Watson's not being honest, and you're be your time, what? you're being ripped off, okay? This is a scam. I'm back with my st Starbucks. Ryan! What? Ryan! What? I just found out Layton's apparently gay. What? Yeah. That's a surprise to me. I had no idea. He should have told us that before we hired him. Anyway. Come up on the background check? Sorry, I have to go airdrop Justin a video from the brand new The Guys Get a Christmas Tree 5. Ooh! Keep him entertained. What's up, everyone? Uh, been a while. Uh, things I'm excited for. Uh, the new Spider-Man movie. I'm going to see that. Uh, Thursday, it's going to be great, seeing it a little earlier in the day. I'm in the middle of the Halo Infinite campaign, having a decent time. Do kind of miss the, the uh, purposeful direction of a linear story with a variety of open areas. Like Halo 3, wow, or any like Combat Evolves, to, any of them really. And so this open world one is... Interesting. Would have been cool to have like different weather or biomes, but don't want to act all spoiled, I guess. Because I'm having fun still. The multiplayer is is a hoot with friends. And even by your mostly big team battle, that's where I feel like the sandbox feels the best. 4v4 just feels too sweaty. Although I do. It is fun to... To sweat with your friends sometimes. What else? Finally took my bike out in what seemed like forever. Like my, my motorcycle. So that was good. Filled up the tank, you know, with some delicious new gas, gasoline, as the, as the ancient Hebrews once uh, said. Just a short ride, though. But it was fun nonetheless. Got to try out a new helmet. Yippee, yippee, I'm a little more safe out there. I'm excited to go home, to see my friends, to see my family. It's going to be, I'm lifting my arms up and I'm pumping them up and down. I'm going, I'm, this is like an excited, I am very excited to see everyone. It's going to be good, but it's crazy that another year has gone by. They go by fast, but hey, I still think a lot is done in a year in terms of like like what I've been able to uh, accomplish in my ventures. My lemonade stands are now across the whole fucking United States. Some popping up in China, which is fantastic. The uh, Chinese aren't that big of a fan of my lemonade quite yet, but those stands I'm are classic so sorry, American. So yeah. What's what's up, bro? I had to find I had like four videos on my phone. It's the piss cam when I went piss in the Home Depot. Oh yeah. And Justin's like, I don't think Tucker filmed this part. And I was like, Oh, did. I did. Yeah. Uh so I uh I had to get him the piss cam, but now he has it. How's Justin look? Does he look like uh well spirited? Does he look ready to attack the day? Nope. He looks like a broken husk of a man. When you when you talk to him, does he go, Oh. He went, I have to edit this video. He did? Is that what he said? He's like, I thought you guys were going to edit this video. And I said, no, Justin, you're going to edit this video. And then he started crying, but I walked out. No, he seemed uh, in, very, in very high spirits to edit this video. He was just hanging out with his good friend Chris, who's at the office right now. We'll get him on the next episode of the podcast or some shit. Maybe the episode after. I don't know when the Christmas one comes out, so. Uh... Sibo though, we'll we'll get him on. Uh, one of the one of the performers from last night. The, the Christmas one would be the next one, right? Okay, so we'll get him on the one after the Christmas one. Yeah, fucking fantastic. His music is great. Have you listened to it? 
What? Dude, do you think I listen to people like him? I didn't. I don't like listening to his music either. Italian? Though. Yeah. He's very Italian. F- f- lives in fucking Brooklyn. Brooklyn, baby. Maybe one Italian hey. who's made decent music. He's from fucking Jersey. Yeah, exactly. Can't. Bruce Springsteen? Nope. Fuck off. People get mad when they find out I, I don't like Bruce Springsteen. Oh, I've, the I, haven't listened, I haven't listened to his solo stuff. I've listened to like the stuff that he's done with Justin and Frank. But Bruce Springsteen? No. Oh. Chris. <laughs> I literally who, thought, who else would I be talking about? Bruce Springsteen. Why would I be talking about Bruce? Because I was talking about Why Bruce would I be talking about Bruce Springsteen, Jerry? <laughs> You bitch! Yeah, dude, Frank and Justin did a killer track of Bruce Springsteen. Fucking popped off. Um, but yeah, you know, this Chris is Chris, the stuff he did with Justin and Frank is good, but it, you oh. gotta you gotta listen to his solo is stuff. Good? No, 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 it's great. But I mean like his solo I mean, stuff. It's great. His solo stuff is awesome. You gotta listen but, to it. See. No, I, I didn't mean I'm gonna tell Justin I'm and not, Frank that. I'm not meaning no 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 I didn't mean that at all. What I'm saying is like there's that stuff's really good. And if you like it, you should listen to his actual album because it is fucking fire. So it's really good. He makes all his own beats and shit, and they're very uh With pots and pans. Kind of like mine a little bit, yeah. He bangs on pots and pans, he breaks sticks, he uh Where like you use like a lot of just like in like interesting sounds, I guess is a good He has one of those shakers, <laughs> the eggs. Um and the only real instrument he has is a Glockenspiel. <laughs> I just like, I'll go back and just like sing some ouch songs. Do, 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 do. <laughs> the best song off ouch, you know? Hey, there's this website <laughs> where I can be myself. Yep, that's the Tumblr song. 2015, no, that's baby. That's awful. That's awful, dude. It's just cringy to me now yeah. because it's like, because it's very of that era of like stupid SJWs. So it's just kind of yeah. like 19-year-old me. Hey, you know what? I was 19. You were like 20, 21. 21? We were, we were coming up on YouTube. We were, we were with the trends, you know, different time. Hey, it paid to be racist. I wouldn't say we're racist in that video, <laughs> No, but. no, no. We were, we were maybe... We <laughs> we're, we're not racist in that We video. were. We, I, the criticisms of what Tumblr about the were valid one? in that. The SpongeBob uh, one. Uh, what black SpongeBob? Black SpongeBob. That's a classic sketch which YouTube removed for obvious reasons. Yeah, for hate speech. Well, wasn't hate speech? No, they removed for hate speech. It actually might have been a copyright thing. No, I'm saying it wasn't hate speech, but it might have gotten removed for hate speech. It did know? get removed. Um, so did our. Uh, I don't know what happened to the 100,000 subscriber video on Kids of Problems. Starts out where you're you're clipping the grass with the scissors, you, oh, and you spit the spit milk, the milk out, out, and then we go to the There's that classic museum. frame you had. Did you post that frame? I posted it on the channel. No, I yeah, think. you posted a little wait, clip of it on the channel. Wait, I totally forgot. I think it's just called like Milk MP4. That's an upload on our channel. I love shit. I want to shit post on the channel more. There it is, two hundred ninety thousand views. <laughs> It's it's just how it gets all over, <laughs> over your upper lips. eyelids. It's like my eyelid. For me, it's also my lips. Like it looks like I'm wearing just white lips. It looks it extent. looks like you have like clown makeup on. <laughs> it's insane, man. It's, can, it's called commitment. Baby. You can rock any fucking hairstyle, dude. What? Short hair or long hair? I'm jealous. Okay, I'm watching it in slow mo, trying so to actually you. figure out how it ended hey, up. Listen here, boy. So can you? Now my hair's awful right now, dude. Uh huh. It's fucking long it's and good. bulky. I gotta, I gotta. That's just your own interpretation you know of when it. You guys no one ever likes their own appearance. When you go to Spider Man, I'll probably go get a hair. Actually, I, I wonder if they're open. I can call and schedule a haircut right now. So I, I can try to sneak you in. I can like dress, like as as I can like two add kids in let's a say three hundred. No, no, I can add like quote unquote three hundred pounds to my person. You know, stuff you in the stomach. They're not gonna fat shame you. No, you know that'd be not okay. I saw this thing where that's how some friends snuck into a movie theater. They actually did that. They and it worked. Kind of like it's like a fat suit type deal, and they all what? like intricately were like like splayed out. What? Yeah, it was. It out. actually worked. Yeah, apparently I don't know. It could have just been like for a meme. But. You know, at least once in history, two kids have gotten into an event as two kids in a trench coat, and that's where that. Do you think that's and where it's that actually originated? happened? You know, it's had to have happened. <laughs> you know, who, who are you calling? Who am I calling? Yeah, Ghostbusters. No, you're not. No, you're not. 
Yeah, I am. I've got a ghost in my house. <laughs> no, you don't. Yeah. Ghosts aren't real. I'm trying to get rid of the ghost in the ghosts office. Ghosts don't exist. Related. Why is Ryan so close-minded? <laughs> Speaking of close-minded, it's my haircut place. They were closed. Oh. I was seeing if I could just get a quick appointment. Because maybe tomorrow. Do I have to bleep something out? mm Okay, they don't say anything in the nope. message. Okay. My haircut place ain't, ain't too, ain't secret. I go to D's Cuts in Long Beach. Oh. I heard they fucking... In a good way, they fuck sh- people shit up. They fuck your shit up. I think that's up. something good. They fuck your shit up. D's Cuts is I want to get my shit fucked up, you know? D's, <laughs> D's, D's cuts, cuts with a Z, too. Um, I, well, we told this story on Sonic Mania. We didn't tell it on the podcast, though. Not the podcast. Oh, no, my not. God, Ryan. Tell it. That Wait. should be the fucking thumbnail for this week. Ladies and gentlemen. This is big. So... Y'all remember, even back in the beginning of Super Mega. Uh huh. I don't know. It's even probably maybe not, before. Maybe even before, but I remember you like talking to the fans, like complaining, like, man, you've, Ryan, you've been saying these nuts, like, like these nuts since I've fucking known you. And like this was back in even 2017, mm-hmm. you were saying this. Cause this it might have like, even been 2016. Yeah. Cause we've known each other for a different decade since, since 2015. Have you been saying D? You've been. There's gonna come a point in the next few years on Super Mega where you can be like, I've been saying these nuts for a decade. These nuts. These nuts. Sorry, but continue. <laughs> Chad tried to correct me. I that. remember that on Twitter you tried these nuts, and I, I think I responded too. I was like, this guy, come on. Yeah, he's he coming he into is? town in two days, by the way. Oh, really? He wants to. Ha- we'll get him on the podcast. Okay. He wants to hang out. Fuck yeah. Awesome. Okay. Tomorrow, actually. So, Matt, <sighs> Jason, and I. Are going to the Joji show. And Jason loves Joji. Jason's a big Joji head. Yeah. He's a big, he's a big filthy Frank head. And so are we. We I I like I I think I have more of a more of my f- fan baseness or whatever it revolves around his music right. since I didn't watch Filthy Frank back in the day, but you did, I know. Right. And he did I, as well. I in high school, I really my friend showed me Filthy Frank and I loved Filthy Frank's videos. And you could tell like earlier videos of of mine and Super Mega, there's a lot of inspiration from Filthy Frank. And I, I mean I just really like those videos. It's actually kind of what got me into making YouTube sketches again and on Kids with Problems. That's kind of why I started up again was because it Filthy Frank just looked fun. And I was yeah. like, I want to make videos like you know, fun, fun ones. Um, but you didn't ever watch Filthy Frank. No. Now looking back at Filthy Frank, I just got into him through Joji. The quality is like so low. Like the the like production quality. But that's what makes it. Good. I know. I know. I just never even. But when I watched it earlier, I never realized that the production quality was that low. It's so. because you don't expect. Like you remember, like you go back to like early Smosh. You don't think anything of it because you're just like entertained. You're like you're more excited that people are doing this shit. You're excited that people are being creative and in a certain way successful in it, about it through watching the quality go up. Like when the Smosh brothers, <laughs> when the Smosh brothers moved into like their house or whatever. That dang pink guy. Yeah. Yeah. Dude. Uh. Last night, real quick before you finish. Last night. When we were get me Frank. Uh, hold up, I'll let you finish. Hey, Kanye West. <laughs> yes. Yay. Uh, before we were we were getting into my car to drive to Santa Ana for the show, and me, Frank, Justin, and Chris. And Justin was like, from this point on, we shall be known as the Music Brothers. And I was like, that's the fucking best band name. <laughs> hey, what's up? We're the Music Brothers. <laughs> brothers is such a funny fucking It's thing. always great the adding brothers. brothers to the end of something. The Cum Brothers? Yes. All right, finish your story, though, because this is unreal. And this might have to be the thumbnail for the podcast, actually. We're going to see Joji. Justin and I arrive. It's at the Novo, which is right near the Staples Center. It's downtown LA. Yeah. It's there's, cold outside. There's also, like, an ice rink around. People are ice skating. And Matt says it'll be 14 minutes and that he just took an edible. And I'm like, oh, why did I take this edible? Because well, you wanted to have fun at the Joji. Well, concert. it's because my my original lift uh, kept getting canceled. Yes. Um. So finally, uh, while I was waiting, because I was waiting so long during that wait is when I remembered I had edibles. So I had half of an edible and I texted Ryan because I know Ryan's a connoisseur of marijuana. Mm-hmm. And I, I don't I don't frequently take edibles. Uh, but when I do, I want to brag and show off how cool it is that I'm using marijuana. So I said, 
Daddy just took an edible for the show. Here's Goofy proof. Here are the DMs. Uh, I'm leaking the DMs. Okay, put them up. Uh, and then you were like, fuck! This is the YouTube version, of course. Right, right, right. And then, and then you were, you said. What? When I said daddy just had an edible. Oh, yes. I, I got jealous and I, and I was like, fuck, I need to get me some Smokies or something. So I looked Ooh. up a dispensary that was close. And I was like, okay, it has to be in walking distance. There, there was. It was ten, about 10 minutes walking distance from the Staples Center. So I asked Justin, I'm like, would you be upset? If we walk there and walk back, I can get, I can just get some edibles he to was. enjoy the tantrum. Joji show. Yeah, he threw, he threw a tantrum. Uh, but after he threw a tantrum, he, he began, he, he understood. He, he, he gave him a sucker. He, he, yeah. <laughs> he pieced it out. Yeah. Justin threw a little temper tantrum on the ground this time. He doesn't, it's not always on the ground, but this one was on the ground. So we, wa we finally walk there. We walk to the dispensary, mm -hmm. show up. We're showing the, the entrance person, our IDs. And Justin pauses with his ID and goes, nah, you know, I'll wait outside. And I'm like, okay, buddy. And he go, he, he goes, of marijuana scares him. Yeah. He is scared to death of marijuana. Mm. That boy is frightened by the stuff. Dare did a number The smell, of the, the look of it, the taste Just of the it. the concept of it. Yeah. But, yeah, Dare did fuck that boy up 100%. Amongst other things. Yeah. Among, amongst us. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Hey! Right, come on. Nice. Yes. Uh anyways. Sus. So I go there, get the edibles. I'm going over to check out like where the register is. And who is over it's just standing over there. Just standing. Just just it's it's almost like he came in from the side. From the heavens. From the heavens. Was Welvin de Great. <sighs> was literally it was legitimately Welvin. Welvin de Great. And I'm just like, I get starstruck of course and i i get the edibles and they go back to check out and like the guy that's running that and i'm like i'm still he's he's just standing there next to the register and i go you know can, can i take a would you is it okay to take a picture and it was welvin came around the counter stood there you know put up at first he 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 was he wasn't putting up really a smile or anything but the guy taking the picture I, I, I can't remember exactly. I think he was like, say biscuits and gravy. It was some it was oatmeal and raisins. I, I don't know what it is. <laughs> oatmeal and gravy. Yeah, I don't know what it biscuits was. Biscuits and raisins. It was, it was some, like, maybe it was some, it was something like that. And, like, he kind of, like, Welvin chuckled <laughs> and, and said whatever it was. But then right afterwards went, these nuts. And I was like. I was glowing and I heard, and I saw the guy like chick, chick, like right after he said these nuts. So like the picture that I am showing on on the YouTube version right now is that pure happiness. Pure happiness you after Welvin said these nuts. Under that mask, I mean, you it's got on a my big Twitter smile. too, but you should make it the thumbnail for this week's podcast. Just, just that picture. And, yeah, just that picture of you it's, and Welvin. It was crazy how many stars had to align. Right. Because if I hadn't texted Ryan that I had taken an edible, he wouldn't have walked to the dispensary. Wouldn't have been jealous. If my lift hadn't canceled, I wouldn't have taken an edible. If Joji wasn't playing on the 9th. Or if we had gone to see him on the 10th because he was doing two shows. That's right. Wouldn't have met Welvin. Mm -mm. You know? If you didn't have a crippling, debilitating marijuana addiction. Exactly. Get some help for that. It hey, wouldn't but, hey have no, it led me to Welvin. God put marijuana in my life. Legitimately, God put marijuana in my life so I could meet Welvin. You would not have met Welvin if God did not put marijuana in your life. End of story. Nope. So it's all worth it. All Everything's worth it. worth it. Every little fucking butterfly effect has led in your life has led up to you meeting Welvin. Yes. Everything. My life is done. I've completed my character. That was my, your, your that character was my hero's done. journey. Your, your character story is done. So the story can continue on without you. This character is deceased. The story will continue. <laughs> it's crazy, dude. I cannot fucking believe you met Welvin. And I'm, I'm waiting outside the Novo and Ryan met up with Ryan yet. And I see Ryan walking up and he goes, Hey, guess who I saw? And I'm like, who? And I'm thinking it's probably one of our friends that we ran into pulls out his phone. Whoosh, I look at it and my eyes bulged out of my head like a fucking pug. I was like, <laughs> yep. what? What? And you got to literally, his lips and teeth and tongue formed the words, these nuts, and the vibrations directly from those entered your eardrums and touched your body. Unfortunately, they weren't live photos the dude took, <gasps> so oh. I don't have, because I would have been able to hear it. 
Oh, because it comes with the audio. Well, you know what? It's I think it maybe it's it's more special that way. Ju- it's only just you got it, man. Yeah, you have that in here now. No, actually, in here. I'm not lying. He did say these nuts. No, I totally believe him. Like, cause that's that's what the people want. The people want Welvin to say these nuts. Got he. God, that was so awesome. And the show was show great. Was, was great. But I was that the high point of your night over the show was was meeting Welvin. Yes, it's okay. I would say, say that. I, yeah. I think that it would be but for me too. I was introduced. I I remember listening to Nectar, but I guess I didn't connect with the song as much. I uh, there were he, a couple, yeah, that Mr. Hollywood that I, I really that liked. I added that, and then uh, Pretty Boy. Mr. Hollywood was one of my favorite ones off Nectar, and so was um. It might be my favorite now. I think my favorite's Afterthought, but he mm. didn't do that one live. The one with Benny. I got a very big crush on Benny. She's my celebrity crush. Is she? Yeah, she's she's a key. Benihana. Uh, she lives in New Zealand. That's not, dude. It's no, it's not Benihana. It's a <laughs> restaurant, not a girl. I kind of got a crush on Benny though. She makes she has a nice voice. They have um, nice grills. What? Oh no, dude! You're talking about the fucking Japanese hibachi place. Stop it. The chain, the chain who the the founder of Benihana went to jail for fraud. Stop. And his son is. Steve Whoa! Aoki. What, did, what did he do to you, buddy? Steve Aoki's his son. What did he do to you? Pal, what, what did he do? I'm to sorry. Me? Made made what did he piss do? poor quality hibachi. Yeah, he did. Yeah, I, it's I, not I the had, best. I tried it once. <laughs> you think Benny Han is awesome? <laughs> Fuck you. No, go to a you know real great? hibachi place. Miyabi's, Miyabi's, Yamato's. Yamato's. Oh, are those chains or are those just local places in South chains Carolina? Chains around the South. Maybe. Those are delicious. I don't know those how are far great. they go, but Miyabi's is my favorite. Hey man, you and I should go. Just you and me go out and get some hibachi soon to like celebrate the year, the end of the year. Okay. Hey, I could teen up or start of the you know what I mean? start of 2022. We can go out. You and I have a we little. We both need the teen up. Yeah, we got to teen up. Not teenagers. <laughs> uh, no. Protein. <laughs> protein. We got to get protein. We're teening up. Hey, man, let's get some teen. Bro, I got so much teen this weekend. Holy shit. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, dog. <laughs> <laughs> stop stop he's already dead Teen up the ass bro uh, but uh yeah yeah you like the simpsons meme <laughs> what simpsons on. meme i didn't stop hear you. stop he's already dead bro oh okay we got a simpsons couch in the About podcast this. room now that's i didn't see it actually good uh what's the other uh, real quick the other joji song i really like on the album is uh um penis michael I'm just kidding. <laughs> no it's not penis michael dude Wait, Nectar, real quick. I like the song. Um, where is it? Where is it? Like you do. No one loves me like you do. Uh, uh, na, na, na. Everyone, uh, it don't matter now. That one, it's really good. What's your favorite Joji song, real quick, before we end? I like World Star Hip Hop. Attention, attention. That's why I was so. I was so. Happy that he played it. Is that one with Diplo? Doom, doom. Good to kill you just a little uh, bit. I don't actually know that one. Do you know that? It's good. Mr. I listened to that so many times when I was feeling sad back in the Joji's got sad music. All right, everybody. Well, uh, thank you for listening to this epic episode of Super Mega Cast. Uh, we got some cool stuff coming up the rest of the year and then 2022 boy howdy uh, we got some cool stuff coming your way as well uh, so get excited for the wait uh, 16 17 18 19 20, 20 get excited for the seventh year of super mega coming up uh, in just a bit the seventh year Ryan isn't that crazy we're coming up on the seventh year of super mega right 2016 17 18 19 20 21. Yeah, seventh year. It's coming actually up. ridiculous. It's awesome. I mean, wait, seven? Seventh. Not seven anniversary, but the seventh year. Okay, okay. I was like, no way. Wait. But we did kind of start. No, it'll be the sixth anniversary yes. coming up. It'll be the sixth the anniversary, seventh year. seventh year. Yeah. Damn, we got to do something special for, for six. That's wild, man. It's going by really fast. I remember when Game Grumps hit five. And I was like, damn, like they're old. And then when they hit seven, I was like, damn. And now it's like, That's we're already past five. Also, shout out to whoever was on the fucking game awards, like front row with the with Super, the Super Mega, Mega merch. That was awesome. 
Uh, they, they, they showed they, him several they times. They kept zooming in, multiple times. Yeah, shout out to, to whoever we that was. We were watching was. live. We were watching and live. We saw you live. And we were like, oh, look, it's Super Mega. Whoa. So we did see you. And like, we noticed right away. Four people pointed it out on the subreddit. Mm -hmm. and we saw it like live and we freaked out. Uh, just know. Yeah, just know. We were watching you live. We noticed you. God, and I'll tell you what. And you looked beautiful. One last merch. thing Jeff Keeley, that man can give some sloppy toppy. I'll tell you what, right now. Fucking after the game awards, because we were at we were next door to the game awards at the Joji concert, and afterwards I met up with him in the parking lot, gave him a twenty dollar bill. God damn it, he sucked the soul out of me. He even got up under the foreskin. He did this thing where he put his tongue up between my penis and the foreskin and like went around in circles like that. Awesome, dude. He he makes little. He like goes, he blows raspberries on the dick. Yeah. Well, he does that on my gooch because it tickles and I laugh. Well, we just ruled out any chance of ever working with him. Uh, but if you, he already worked with me, if you get what I'm saying. Yeah. He stuck his pinky up my butthole. Bye, everyone. <laughs> <laughs>